How to get smooth colour? This is quite a common question and three factors come into play to get smooth colour and one is the pencils you're using, the surface you're using and you yourself as the artist, how you apply the pencil to the surface of choice. So this is a guideline of my technique. I'm using a polychromos and I'm using Arsh's hot pressed watercolour paper at 300 GSM. <clears throat> now I've got a slightly oval end on the pencil and I picked sky blue because I thought one of the smoothest things that I would encounter in my work being mainly wildlife outdoors is a, a beautiful blue sky. So I start very lightly and softly. Um, and just um, again, it's your pressure. You have to be very conscious of keeping an even pressure. Now one issue people face is suddenly doing a slightly harder stroke like that and you end up with a bit of a line. Well that's okay because you can this is where you can just use your kneadable eraser, make a little bit of a, a sharper edge and just gently dab that out. When you work lightly it's so easy to fix. Another issue that happens is if you are working in a small area as this and work down, down, down. If you press too hard, as your pencil returns on itself, and this is I'm pressing a bit harder here, you can see how it sort of leaves a hard edge. And then when you start on this side and do the next batch, the same thing happens. And if you slightly cross over, you can see you actually end up with a hard line in the middle sort of to that effect and that can then be more difficult to get this smooth transition so when you come back in on this side to do your next run I actually tend to sort of work more in a zigzag fashion so that I'm not forming a line as such and so some little lines might be a bit shorter and some might be longer and just sort of keep in mind that you don't want to keep meeting in the same spot. And as you can see, you can get a pretty smooth finish with one coat. It takes practice, so don't give up too early, just keep practicing because it is, it's the amount of pressure you put on your paper. So covering that again with another layer and I'm actually slightly using elliptical strokes like this, which helps rather than doing this and getting that sharp return here. So the next layer would be the same. And it would just be a matter of going over it again, a little bit random, keeping an eye on areas if they're looking a little bit dark, don't go over them again until you get it all just nice and smooth. Now depending on the surface or the texture you are wanting, if you're doing shiny metal, it'll be a totally different approach. But this is just a demonstration, a very quick demonstration on how to apply smooth, and get your pencil nice and smooth and get smooth pressure. And it really is just a matter of practicing it as much as possible, keeping your pressure even rather than going hard and soft, you know, when you go hard and then soft and then a bit more heavy pressure, that's when you can end up with inconsistencies as well, as well as your lines meeting down here. So I hope this has helped.